Hey guys, I'm Emma, and on today's episode, we've got Elon Musk's plan for Mars, vending machine french fries, and the miracle of boobs. For sure know why you guys chose me for this one. And welcome to Geek Beat. They say you should never go shopping on an empty stomach, but I think the same applies to shooting an episode of Geek Beat, because it's almost lunchtime, and although I know fries that come on a vending machine, have to be disgusting. I want some so bad. And some students at Wagenigen, Wagenigen, whatever, WU in the Netherlands have invented a vending machine that serves up hot French fries and condiments. The machine deep fries frozen potatoes and hands them over in about two minutes. And the bad news, the French fry vending machine is only a prototype on the campus of W University, but maybe someday. <sighs> a girl can dream. If you're a fan of quadcopters, hold on to your seats because DJI has just introduced the world's first copter with a micro four-third sensor and interchangeable lenses. You can now get the DJI Inspire quadcopter with the new Zenmuse X5 or X5R interchangeable lens camera, which can shoot 4K at either 24 or 30 frames per second. The system also allows you to remotely adjust both focus and aperture with the DJI Go app or through DJI's previously announced Follow Focus system. The X5R model is capable of recording lossless cinema DNG raw video at an insane 1.7 gigabits per second. The standard X5 records at 60 megabits per second. You can order an X5 with an Inspire for 4,500 or pick an X5R kit for a measly eight grand. Um, if you go buy a new GoPro, this is not how you use it. Some guy got a new GoPro, put it on a selfie stick, and then nearly decapitated himself after ramming his Jeep into a canoe on a car he was following. That is all. This guy is John McAfee. And yeah, that McAfee. You may be running his antivirus software on your computer, but also he is batshit crazy. The last time we heard from him, he was running from cops down in South America after they claimed he killed his girlfriend or something suitably insane. His defense was that he couldn't have done it because he was too high on the bath salts he was smoking. And you only think I'm kidding. Also not kidding about this. McAfee is running for president. Here, watch this. Stand with me to protect our freedom. Visit McAfee16.com. Um, I'd rather vote for Dick Cheney. I can see the t-shirts now. Vote for Dick, 2016. Actually, can we get Elon Musk for president? Personally, I like his plan for terraforming Mars. How would you, how well, would you this, warm Mars up? You know, this, it's, it's this a the long fast way, way away from the sun. It's the fast way uh, and the slow way. Okay, uh, give, me, <laughs> give, me the, give me the fast way. The fast way is, is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. You're a super villain. <laughs> and finally, you knew you liked boobs, but you didn't know exactly why. But Katie Hine, an evolutionary biologist, has an idea. According to Hine, when a baby suckles on the mother's breast, a vacuum is created and a little bit of the infant's saliva is sucked back into the mother's nipple. At this point, receptors in her mammary gland read the baby spit backwash, and if the mammary gland receptors detect a presence of pathogens, the mother's body produces antibodies to fight it. Of course, the antibodies travel through the breast milk back into the baby's body, where they can target the infection. Who knew that boobs were nature's outsourced immunization factory? Well, that's it for today's show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a big fat thumbs up. And don't forget to share this episode and encourage everyone to subscribe for more Geek Beat. I'm Emma, and see you next time.